five basic tastes that we know of. Uh, sweet, sour, bitter, umami, and salt. Because salt is a flavor, it plays, of course, a very important role in uh, the seasoning of our foods. If it's missing in a food, we notice it. Even in a sweet food, a little bit of salt can make a difference. Salt uh, does a couple of other things. It actually suppresses our sensation of bitterness. Salt also affects aromas, and there are a couple of different ways that that happens. One is chemical, and the other is physiological or neurobiological. The chemical explanation is that when you add salt to a food, it actually makes that food less hospitable to the aroma molecules in that food. The aroma molecules want to leave the food and go into the air. And that's very important because we sense aromas through the air. We have to breathe them in. The other way that uh, salt affects aroma is indirectly by our past experience. We learn to associate saltiness with savory flavors, the flavors of meats and cooked vegetables and so on. And that means that if we up the intensity of saltiness in a particular food, we tend to experience the aromas more intensely as well by association. One of the more magical things that salt uh, can do is to moisten and tenderize meats. Uh, and it does that when we brine meats. And it's a pretty remarkable process. You start with a piece of meat. It's, uh, it's got a particular structure, particular moisture content, which is going to get cooked out of it. What happens when you immerse the meat in brine is that uh, salt ions, sodium and chloride ions, move from the brine into the meat. They take up residence in there. They get into those muscle fibers, loosen them up, and that ends up making the meat tenderer. So brining meat is another way that uh, salt can make uh, cooking better and food more delicious. Yeah.